glad to be preparing for your return to athletics. But before you arrive on campus, we have a few things we need to share with you. Well, the local school district has made videos laying out what students and parents will have to do to participate in athletics. Practices in Burke County start on Monday. And Channel 9's Dave Faraday looks at what's being required to keep students safe. Well, the videos show how practices are going to be very different this school year, right down to wearing a mask, even the use of a water bottle. The coaches and administrators discussed everything from parking to mandatory health screenings when teenagers return to school for practice Monday morning. The athletes will exit the vehicle, will walk to the table for their screening. Parents, do not get out of your vehicles. Locker rooms will also be closed and there will be limits on the number of students allowed to practice at one time. Only air hugs and air bumps six feet apart or more are allowed. Each of the schools in the Burke County School District made a video. Teenagers we talked with today want to get back but also want to do it safely. I think it's important to know like the COVID safety because I wouldn't want any of my friends getting it or any of their family members. I know what to expect now. It's a lot. The coaches emphasize the importance of social distancing and the need to wear masks. Just treat this like a new piece of your uniform or equipment. Students won't be required to wear them all the time, like during long distance running. Parents are hopeful the plan works, but say they still have concerns. It is a big burden for the coaches and then what? happens if you do have a kid that comes in that's non-symptomatic. And we found out outside workouts are going to be limited to 25 people inside just 10 people, and that includes coaches and staff. Back to you. The Charlotte Mecklenburg School District was supposed to resume high school athletic practices Monday, but the district tells us that's not going to happen. CMS says it consulted with local health officials, discussed readiness with athletic directors, and reviewed current conditions in the county and state. They say there's just too much uncertainty and unanswered questions to move forward with practices. Cabarrus County was supposed to resume high school sports and band practices July 6th as well, but the district is postponing that until July 20th. The district says it's making the decision out of an abundance of caution. And last month, the North Carolina High School Athletics Association laid out its rules for resuming workouts. Students have to complete a physical examination form, and all coaches and students must be screened daily for any symptoms. That will include daily temperature checks. And in South Carolina, athletes cannot use the locker rooms. They will also have their temperatures taken when they show up for practice and must wear masks when not on the field and equipment must be disinfected after each use.